Hey guys, welcome to Bumby TV. So today we're going to be checking out one for suggestion. We're going to be checking Jordan Peterson completely destroy feminist narrative. Whoa, Jordan Peter. I, I think I've actually checked out a part of this actually on TikTok. Like I've actually seen this. Guys, we're gonna be checking this out together, guys. Like, this video is actually sponsored by Koi, guys. They made this video possible. Like, send me the outfit, guys, because they love Jordan Peterson. Like, they feel his mindset is amazing, guys, and he has helped a lot of people. Like, a lot. Guys, please make sure you check their store out, and you're gonna get 15% commission using my coupon code. And actually, offer free delivery when you order, like, Terry clothes from them. Like, it's, it's, it's amazing free delivery worldwide like it's it's it's, it's mind-blowing guys let's get straight into this well that's my idea of the patriarchy which is a, a system of male dominance of society yeah but that's not my sense of the patriarchy so because, what's, what's yours well in what sense is our society male dominated uh, the fact that the vast majority of wealth is owned by men, the vast majority of capital yeah. and is owned by men. Women do more unpaid it's a very, labor. Very tiny proportion of men, and a huge proportion of people who are seriously disaffected are men. Most people in prison are men. Most people who yeah. are uh, on the street are men. Most victims of violent crime are men. Most people who commit suicide are men. Uh, most men. Most people who die in wars are men. People who do worse in school are men. It's like. Where's the dominance here precisely? What you're doing is you're taking a tiny substrata of hyper successful men and using that to represent the entire structure of the of Western society. There's nothing about that yeah. that's vaguely appropriate. But I could say equally well that most rape victims are women. You know, terrible things happen to people of both sexes. And you could say that with, with, with perfect utility, but that doesn't provide any evidence for the existence of a male-dominated patriarchy. Well, there it are... just means that terrible things happen to both genders, which they certainly do. But there are almost no women who rape men, for example. So that is an asymmetry there in sexual violence. Well, yes, there's an, as there's an asymmetry in all sorts of places, but that doesn't mean that Western culture is a male-dominated patriarchy. The fact that there are asymmetries has nothing to do with your basic argument. No, but you might... This, equally... is, this is a trope that people just accept. Western society is a male-dominated patriarchy. It's like, no, it's not. That's not true. And, and even, if it, even if it has a patriarchal structure to some degree, the, uh, the fundamental basis of that structure is not power. It's competence. That's why our society works. It's only when, it's, when yeah. a structure degenerates into tyranny that the fundamental relationships between people become dependent on power. It's not power. If you hire a plumber who's likely to be male, it's not because there's roving bands of tyrannical plumbers forcing you to make that choice. And it's the case with almost every interaction that you have at the face of our culture. You're dealing with people yeah. who are offering a service of one form or another, who are usually part of the broad middle class, and who offer, and what you're looking for is the person who can offer the best service, and you can find it. It's not a consequence of being dominated by anything that's tyrannical. And, and then again, our culture, our Western culture, um, which is by no means perfect, and certainly has tyrannical elements like all cultures do, is the least tyrannical society that's ever been produced, and certainly the least tyrannical society that exists now. This whole patriarchy thing, I think you have no idea how pernicious and dangerous it is. Well, no, you I know, don't. Men I really and women don't. Go on. Throughout history, have fundamentally cooperated to push back against the absolute catastrophe of existence, a terrible death rate, the, the probability of chronic starvation, early death, disease, the difficulty of raising children, with all the death that was associated with that, and to look backwards in time and say, well, basically, what happened was men took the upper hand and persecuted women in this tyrannical patriarchy is it's absolutely dreadful misreading of history. It's a terrible thing to teach young women and it's a horrible thing to inflict upon men. Yo, like Peterson is, he's good. Like I love the way he sees life, like the way he explains it. He goes way back into history and like it's amazing. Like if you do listen to him, like you know what I'm talking about guys, like he, he tries to make you understand where he's coming from. Like, he tries to, like, I don't know the way he's able to do it, but I love his worldview, guys. It's just amazing. The way he sees life, the way he interprets things, the way he communicates. Like, he communicates with, with this kind of boldness. Like, he knows what he's talking about. Like, I wish to have that, guys. That is amazing. 
guys feel sure to like share subscribe to my channel guys don't forget to visit koi out guys to make this video possible please make sure you check the link in my description guys i'll see you next time guys peace